All right, what I'm going to do today is build an Adirondack chair rocker, and I start out pretty much with my normal chair. Uh, the only differences are that I have made the front leg out of a, a piece of deck board that's not as thick as generally I use a two before, and I've also cut the legs two inch shorter, two inches shorter, and that's thrown off the geometry of the relationship of the back leg and the front leg but all that will be taken care of when I put the rocker on so we'll show you how I make the rocker and uh, it was kind of challenging now this is what I started with for a pattern and this is just the old piece that I salvaged off a piece of junk furniture and when I started my rocker I basically just try to trace this thing as you can see it's not exactly the same so what I did was I just kept working with it reworking it till I got what I actually worked and I had to do that by putting it on the chair and rocking with it to get it to work where it actually rocks smooth um, there's probably 20 different ways you could have done that but this is what I came up with and um, yeah, if anybody really needs a pattern, I could probably go into more detail on how I made it. But basically, like I said, I just found this old rocker and uh, traced it and went from there. You know, there's no real need to reinvent the wheel. Alright, what I've got here is two uh, deck boards that are 36 inches long. And I screwed them together so I could cut both of them at the same time. Because trust me, keeping these rockers as similar as you can helps now what I want to do is I've rough cut them to 36 it finishes about 35 so I'm just gonna trace the pattern out and I will spare you the boring cutting this it takes a while to cut both of them with a dick saw but that's how you do it all right after a pretty good bit of cutting take that off and that's what you got so uh, anyways like I said I screwed these two together it makes it a lot easier to keep from wiggling all over the place and cut both of them at the same time it just makes them easier to fit all right here is where the tricky part comes in um what I've done here is took the leg and I marked it and you can probably see that two inches from the end and that's where I'm going to set my the rocker on the front post it sets on the bottom of the post and then it goes back and connects right there and I've just got it clamped so you can kind of see what's going on alright what I've done is bored two pilot holes here and I'm going to use these three inch screws to attach this thing but I've got to countersink them because this is so deep so I'm going to bore probably two inches down in there and uh, countersink these screws in the bottom and they're going to hit that post and hold the runner on. There. Put both of them in. side of this thing I'm gonna put two of these inch of five eight screws in here to hold it and then you won't be able to see those from the outside there all right we got one runner on now that you got your rockers on last thing you want to do is 
bump sand it a little bit just kind of smooth the rockers up but you need to really be careful while you're doing this because you don't want to take too much off but anyways makes it rock a little smoother and I'm gonna do the other one and then we'll test her out all right I've got my chair tester out today and it apparently is working pretty good and well, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, like I said instead of paying $300 for this chair somewhere you can build this thing easily for less than 50 bucks if you want to it takes a little know-how if you got any questions give me send me a message and um, hope you enjoyed Happy New Year.